Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we are checking out Plask. Now Plask was launched a few weeks back I believe. Uh, it's a really cool tool for basically creating 3D animations out of a video. You can upload a simple uh, webcam source and through the powers of magic it turns it into a 3D animation. Or actually the power of artificial intelligence and computer vision. Uh, but yeah, all the same. Now you've probably heard of a couple tools like this. I've covered a few on the channel in the past. We'll get to that in uh, when the video is over. But this is actually quite cool and as as of this moment in time, it's also quite free if you want to go ahead and check it out. Speaking of checking it out, it's available at plask.ai and as you can see here, source video and generated 3D animation. That's basically what we we're going to create here. Uh, you can sign up for this thing uh, really simply. I just used my uh, Gmail account for authentication. And then you click the Get Started button. And here you come to the editor. The editor is quite simple and clean. I do like the user experience so far. Uh, there are a number of models you can work with. So for example, you can have just a stock mannequin. Drop it into your scene and you are good to go. You can also upload your own image, no problem at all. So I'm gonna uh, get a Mixamo rigged file. Uh, we'll bring this guy up, this guy right here and upload it. Now this stuff takes a few minutes of time, uh, so I'm going to compress this in the video. It doesn't take the full three minutes, but it does take a bit of time, so I will talk to you in just a moment. Okay, we're back. It took less than a minute, by the way. So here you can see we now have a new option for a character, and just drag and drop that into the scene, and there you see we have our uh, rigged ninja. Um, it's pretty straightforward on the whole. Uh, let me just go ahead, pan this guy down. You got normal uh, controls for the camera, uh, so you can orbit it, you can uh, position it and otherwise. Uh, you got a couple of vision options over here, so you can show the bones or not show the bones, the gizmos, etc. Uh, you got some tools over here for controlling um, individual and things in animation. So for example, I can grab this guy right here and move it around. You can see here we have just a handful of keyframes. There's no animation applied to this guy. Now one of the very important things to know about Plask right off the front though, there is no persistence here. So everything you were working with is transactional. This guy that we just uploaded, it's going to go away. Um, so there's no storage, no nothing like that. I'm assuming in time that that will change. Also, I'm assuming at some point in time, they're gonna add a price tag as well. Just do be aware, this guy that we uploaded, you're gonna to have to upload it each and every time if you want to use a custom character. The four that come built into it, they work just fine. By the way, you can also send things up in a number of different formats. Now you may notice this rig just worked. Uh, if you didn't get it to just work, you can actually do retargeting right here. So you can pick the, the uh, bone you want to match and then the name of the bone and then assign it if you wish. So you can set up your rig to match their rig. Uh, the rigging is all worked off of basically looking for certain names. Uh, there are details in their documentation which is available right here if you want to read more about their documentation. So we got a character up, the auto rig works. So basically out of the box, mix and more rigs will work just fine. Um, so now that we got this guy in here, we're gonna have to bring in an animation. So you could bring, click this little guy right here and expose to your own web camera. Um, I'm going to just use a predefined video I downloaded off the interwebs. So go over here and select the file that you want to work with. So I got a couple here in clips and we're gonna, we got this one of this older fellow dancing and we'll use it as an example. So we're gonna go ahead, yep, bring that guy up. It goes into the video mode. Um, so right now it's just catching up all the frames. Uh, you can scrub across the video here so basically, you're looking at, um, there is the full bit of the animation. I'm just gonna grab a, a bit of it though. So let's do from, all right, we'll go from there. So just bring this guy in, mark it down to just that segment. And then again, scrub forward a little bit. So we're gonna do a turn and a little bit of a shimmy, hands up. All right, and we'll stop there. Now the, the amount of time that this takes is based off your source video. So the longer video you upload, even if you're only grabbing a subsection of it, the longer it's going to take. But once you've got what you want, just go ahead, click extract motion, and we'll call this dance. We'll quote dance. All right. So we're gonna bring that up. It says it's gonna be up to five minutes. It generally isn't. I find it's uh, relatively uh, quick for the most part. But once again, uh, I'll be back when this is done. All right, so we're looking, it did take close to the five minutes, probably about three and a half minutes total for it to figure that out. And now you see we have an animation track here. Now you may notice that my uh, ninja is gone. Yes, I did actually experience a client side crash. So do expect some issues on um, occasion. So what we're gonna do, uh, bring someone in, we'll just bring in the, the blank mannequin in this case, there you can see it right there. And then all you need to do is apply your animation to that model. And there you go. So what you can see here, if I select 
everything. We're gonna see we have a number of frames. Let's zoom that out, see how many we've got. Uh, it goes on about 160 frames. All right, so we'll go ahead. We'll make this total 160 in duration, and we'll go ahead and play back our results. All right, so go ahead, let's play. And there you see the resulting animation. It does the full 360 tracking, not too bad. Did a pretty good job on the whole, I gotta admit. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the tool in a nutshell. Basically, you, you bring in your 3D model, you re-rig it if you need to do so. You bring in your video, and then, um, it automatically converts it for you. Now, again, there is no persistence to this. So if you want to do this all again, uh, basically you got to upload your model, you got to upload the video, and then you're done. But when you want to get your works out, that is pretty easy. So I basically take this guy right here, and I right-click it, and I do an export. Uh, by the way, we can also edit any of these frames of animation, so I could pause at any point in time. So let's say I wanted this... Um, this joint to be rotated, by the way, uses standard QWERTY style QWERT for rotate and translate and so on. Uh, so we can move things around right there. If I wanted to, we got control over all the various individual keys in this guy. Uh, or if we want to do our own keyframing, I could go ahead and create a new layer and just do my edits directly on that. So I can move individual keyframes in the timeline as I wish. So if I want and I move this guy up slightly like so, I can move it like that. I right click. Uh, so should be right click, right click, come on. Right, right click, insert keyframe. And there you see I've created my own custom keyframe. So you can create your own or you can edit the base layer itself or you can bring it into your tool of choice and do the finishing there. Now on top of bringing it in, again, just right click this guy and do an export. And you're gonna have a number of different options, FBX, FBX for Unreal Engine, GLB or um, BioVision, I think that one is. Basically that's a motion capture format. Uh, so I'm just gonna do um, GLTF or GLB file format there. We'll export that guy out. Now I do find, and I, I don't know why this is, this button is hard to click. I do not know what's going on there. There's a bit of a lag after you do it the first time. See it has downloaded for us. So now I'm just going to go ahead. We'll, uh, we'll fire up Blender because I, I have to uh, sacrifice at least one default cube every video. All right, there we go. Default cube is gone. Go ahead, file, import, GLB, like so. It's in my downloads directory. There it is, bring it in. Let's go in here to, uh, like so. And let's zoom in, there is our character. And now let's see how this looks. So I think there was about a, what was it 160 frames? I'll go ahead and play our animation. So you see, bringing your animation into your tool of choice, no problems at all. So that is how you get your, your ultimate results out of things. Uh, pretty cool uh, tool on the whole. As I mentioned, it is by no means alone in the field. Uh, so that there, ladies and gentlemen, was Plask. AI. Again, completely free to use at this moment in time. Other options exist out there, uh, such as we have Radical, which I don't know that I've actually covered on this channel or not. I'm not 100% certain. They're doing literally the exact same thing as our Deep Motion. And you probably get different results out of each one. Uh, they all have a free tier available, uh, whereas right now, Plask has literally no monetizations in place. Um, if you want to learn more about Deep Motion, I actually just did a video on it. Uh, back in January, showing how to take a Vroid character and then apply a Plask animation to it. Probably one of the easiest ways you could create an animated 3D character uh, is that combination of Vroid plus um, uh, deep motion. But in this case also, Plask is very much another option. Uh, so if you're interested in learning uh, more about it, do check it out. Again, it's available at Plask.ai and it is currently quite free, which is very cool. So. Uh, yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think of uh, the machine learning in general, uh, the way the, these tools are working out. And I guess the most important thing is, uh, what do you think of the animation results you get with these? By the way, you've got the ability to apply filtering. Every once in a while I found hands went a little janky and filtering seemed to fix it. Uh, and again, if you want to drill down and learn the help, click up here. You're going to find there's both tutorials and manuals. Um, there's also a little step-by-step -step, you know, guided tour of the user interface. But you're going to find for the most part, it is uh, quite simple to work with on the whole. Um, it's, yeah, it's a pretty straightforward tool. I, I do like the user interface. I like the work process of working with it. I wish there was some kind of persistence, uh, but I got to imagine that that's going to come with time. So when it comes to that, they've got 
you know, commercial version. It's probably going to offer storage, a certain amount of conversion at a certain price or whatever. But as of right now, uh, it is uh, freely available to use. And uh, I think the results, they turn out pretty good. I think, uh, you know, from a before and after, we kind of got the results that I would sort of expect to see. I throw some different videos at it. Uh, one I found was when it worked, a guy doing a backflip straight onto the camera. It didn't work quite as well, but that's a bit of a more challenging use case. But this one where you get good 3D tracking all the way around, it did a good job. And when the camera was obscured, it still, like, it didn't flake out the arm in the background there. I think this does a pretty solid uh, amount of work. Now, obviously, uh, you're not going to beat the, the abilities of of, you know, uh, pure true motion capture or, uh, you know, hand animation if you actually have some talent. But if you're like myself and you don't have any talent or you're looking for a starting point and you don't have, you know, the big setup for a full motion capture rig, these machine learning computer vision based systems definitely could be a part of the future. So let me know what you think. Comments down below. I'll talk to you all later. Goodbye.